Good afternoon. Happy Savage Wednesday, Keepers of the Cash, NCBD, new comic book day. I hope this week finds you well. I hope you've had a great week up until this point, and I hope when you went to the comic shop, you were treated with lots of great books to read, and uh, a fun week for me, and we're not going to keep you too long. We're going to, get, going to get right to the books. I'm going to slow down my talk because apparently words are a bit of a challenge for me today. Uh, so first up in the pickups that I grabbed this week, I of course got that foil variant of Conan the Barbarian, issue one from Titan Comics. And this is the movie poster uh, from Conan the Barbarian, 1982, starring Sandal Bergman and Arnold Schwarzenegger, of course. And I noticed something strange with this foil variant. My comic shop, LCS, had quite a few of them. Some of them were just like this. You kind of see the red background, the gleam of the sword, uh, some creatures coming in. But there was a couple that had like a, like a pillar here. It looked, I couldn't tell if it was a printing error or not. I opted to just get the more black background because I liked it better. I thought it shown the, the gleam on the sword a bit better and showcased it. But uh, if you guys saw other ones like that and know why they're different, let me know. I've never seen a foil variant have a different look to it. So I was kind of curious. Uh, then, Amazing Spider-Man issue 31. Look, there's one reason I grabbed this. She's on the cover. And uh, I might go back and grab the, the Black Cat cover because it's a Greg Land cover and I'm a Black Cat guy and she's in here as well. But in this issue, all you Spider-Woman fans, I'm looking at you, Ben Parker, Digger Jim, all right, all my Spider-Woman buddies. In this issue, there's a Spider-Woman story and something happens to her baby, Jerry, and it leads into a brand new Spider-Woman number one. So if you are a Spider-Woman fan, you do not want to miss this issue. Unfortunately, Marvel and DC are following the trend that every 25 issues, there has to be a $10 book. So I don't know why, but here we go. Um, definitely worth it. The Spider-Woman art in this is amazing. Uh, it's the story I liked. It's the only story I read, I gotta be fair. I didn't read the other ones yet. But that's me. Um, I bought it for Spider-Woman. Next up, Cindy Moon is Silk. Issue number four with the John Romita corner box. And one more issue to go, and I'll be reading this. I like the first two Silk series quite a bit. Can't wait for the, uh, this five-issue one to finish up. But I like the covers. Now, this cover is a bit... It's good, but it's a bit of a letdown from the last two covers, which looked like pirate movie poster homages, which I thought were absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this one is still good, but I like the other ones better. Another title I'm really hot on right now, Captain Marvel Dark Tempest. You guys know how much that I like the Carol Danvers character. You guys have heard me talk about it for two years, about or probably three years, was that run that Kelly Thompson just finished, how good it was. Uh, great cover here. But I also had to pick up, and this is my favorite costume from her ever, uh, Captain Marvel, Dark Tempest, and this is the George Perez cover. And um, I would love to see this costume come back in that look. That was just my favorite uh, Captain Marvel. I do like, uh, well, she was Miss Marvel here. I should, you know, apologies, Miss Marvel. But uh, the last Captain Marvel run was fantastic by Kelly Thompson. This one's a five-issue one. I'm not going to read it until I have them all, but... You know, you got Jessica Drew in there. You got some other great characters. I'm sure I'm going to love it. Uh, Danger Street, issue number eight, uh, Warlord. So, fun little cover there. That's the B cover, the card stock. And then, of course, we got to get the Barbaric cover right there. There's Warlord right there. Look at that. So, great looking cover. Um, I thought the face on her looked a little bit like Joe Kubert. Obviously, it's not, but... Uh, I thought it was a very Joe Kubert-esque um, um, homage type cover. I think they're going for a certain style. No, I could be wrong. That's just what the vibes that I get when I look at that book. Uh, this one I'm super excited to read. This is Zatanna Night Terrors. And the first issue I thought was really good. Can't wait to read this. This is issue two of two. Great cover there. They did have a cover of this I didn't like, so I didn't pick it up. And I also grabbed this cover here, which I thought was fun. Not fantastic, but fun. And um, then we picked up Queens of the Lost World, giving this another shot. First issue I thought was okay, not great. We're going to see what happens with issue number two. San Julian there. He's got his own series. 
And then we have the uh, alternate cover. All right. Then wrap it up this series. Uh, now I can read this. Emma Kubert, as soon as I'm done reading She-Hulk, because I'm reading that now. Uh, Stoneheart, six of six. So hopefully this is great. Can't wait to read that either. And then I've been on the Titan Comics kick ever since the first Gun Honey came out. Um, then the second Gun Honey I thought was really good too. And now we're to the spinoff series, Heat Seeker. And this is issue two. I had to get the Selena cover because Selena's art is absolutely gorgeous. It's elegant. I may go back and if there's any left, I may pick up the Virgin variant of this, which is really nice. But they only had a couple, so it's probably gone by now, but it's okay. This is just a dynamite cover. Absolutely gorgeous. And then, of course, you guys always hear me telling you guys should be picking these up, especially if you like old horror, the Bronze Age horror. This is the Vampire's Carmilla, and very much the same style as all those old horror books. It's a bunch of horror short stories in here in black and white form. Now, the difference between Shudder and the Vampire's Carmilla is, is a simple one. This one is Femme Fatale Horror Stories. The other one's regular horror stories. And, um, you know, all sorts. You know, uh, crime, monstrous, supernatural, what have you. It's in here. And um, just really fun magazine format storytelling. Love these series. They're so good. But, guys, that's my pickups for the week. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And let me know what you picked up. Do we have anything in common? Do we not have anything in common? Because uh, odds are... And as it always ends up with me is I like a bunch of things that nobody else likes. I, I, I just am by my nature a very niche collector. Um, I think some of these titles are mainstream. They're just not mainstream for anyone that I know. But it is what it is. I like what I like and never apologize for enjoying what you enjoy. But that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. And until next time, keep it casual. Attention all, use channel sponsor Rogue Trader at theroguetraderutah.com and my code, keep it casual, for 10% off your comic cleaning and pressing needs. Remember, when submitting your books to be graded, use a trusted professional.